Hello, welcome to video three. Is that right? I don't know. We're at the video, some of them. I don't think I'm going to keep track of the numbers. Otherwise, I'm going to be here for a long time trying to remember each week. It's quite nice, actually. If you don't do this, it doesn't have to be a video log. But if you don't do this as a practice in some way of sitting down and documenting how you felt, recalling what happened, there is something about videoing it. I've spoken about this before on TikTok, where I went back to something from last April involving a guy, typical. <laughs> but that idea of, I remember reflecting at the time and talking about how I felt I dealt with a situation. And it was mad to go back and just thought, I can't believe that I was speaking in that way then because I feel like I've made the same mistake since. <laughs> Why did you not learn your lesson yet? But it is therapeutic in some way, at least to me. And it's interesting as well when I decide what bit I'm going to pick out for the week too, because there's always so much that goes on. And sometimes I imagine, well, there's probably going to be weeks where lots happens and I can't choose. And there's going to be other weeks where I'm like, oh God, I'm going to have to come up with something slightly different because... <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing really eventful happened. This week, just gone, I did my first bit of casual work. It was lovely. It was interesting to go back because it's to my old workplace to do cover. So it's not an entirely new scenario. In fact, it's not been long that I've left. And the reaction from the people that I work with and taught was interesting because it has only been 10 days back at school for everybody. And there's just me <laughs> coming back. Um, it, it was like being a mini celebrity for the day. There was lots of calls of my name down corridors. It was nice to be back. It was not overwhelming. I was tired. I suppose when I used to go back at the term, I used to get back into the swing of it, much like everyone will have done after the time off at Christmas, if you happen to have that, and you get kind of back into the groove. I hadn't really anticipated how much I would be out of the groove though, and how kind of relax this kind of lifestyle is now at the moment anyway and how like jump starting that is going to go so I've got another day coming up next week and I'll see how that goes in my head I'm hoping to only do two or three days each week two preferably three though depending on how finances are and keeping track of my finances is really interesting I created this wonderful google sheet that I mean, it is pedantic in the sense of I literally record everything that I earn each day because that's how I'm living now. It's really fascinating to see and work through that shift of knowing that you are going to get money on a particular day each month or week if you get paid weekly. In theatre, I used to get paid weekly and it was wonderful. But now, because I don't have that fixed income and knowing when things are going to come in. It's really interesting to experience it differently and this idea of freelance multiple income streams. But there are two really that provide the money all to do with what I used to do. That's naturally going to happen. It's the way it is because I'm shifting and I'm using my skills, my contacts, my knowledge to continue to fund my life as best I can. Whilst I'm then trying to shift into more of this, uh, and alongside that, other little things on the side. So there is a mass spreadsheet. It's very clever. I write in what I earn, where from, and what kind of company that belongs to. I don't. I have one company, but at the same time, I know that I'm on PAY here and there on zero hours contracts. I'm self-employed, as it were, but under various different hats. So yeah, it categorises it, and then. It's got things that calculate monthly total. So it's tracking how much I'm earning in January. It's tracking how much I get daily. So each entry is a different income stream, even though like I could have, like I did, I think on something like the 8th of January, I'd have had four different things come in, like one big one, a couple of tiny ones. It then counts the daily total. And obviously that fluctuates. There's a couple of days I've got nothing coming in. And then there's other days where you get a bulk tutoring in. So then that looks great. <laughs> or a supply day. So... Tracking that has been really interesting and it's changed the way that I live because I no longer know what's going to happen quite. And that extends further than just money. Of course, the money, I have no idea. I hope I have access to work, which is great. It is casual, it's flexible, it's not guaranteed. It's not something I know exactly is gonna come up, but chances are being on three schools books Probably each week, hopefully, I'll be needed for a couple of days as a minimum. 
and there'll be weeks where they offer me a week and I might need it because the week before I did nothing because there wasn't anything come up and I'll have to work with that. And that's what I mean by extending further. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I mean, I do, because in this case, I have work, cheering and guides. But I didn't know that day was going to happen like that until about two hours ago. In my head, I was free for the day. I was actually going to say no if I got a call in the morning because I didn't want to rush around, then have tutoring and then have guides. But an email came in today and I said, yeah, sure, fine, let's go for it. So now I've got to make sure that I'm ready for tutoring ahead of schedule. And that's why I can kind of work with that. But I changed my mind two hours ago and my tomorrow looks very different to what I thought my tomorrow was going to look like earlier. And you can't plan too far ahead. You can't live too far ahead. It was interesting. I used to plan all the time when I had a full time nine to five esque job. I used to just know that I was going to have Saturday and Sunday to socialise. I knew when my school holidays were. So you made plans during those. Whereas now, yes, I'm still working to the school system holiday structure because my work is technically that that income stream is technically only available for about three quarters of the year because that's how many weeks teachers work. So unless I then find something for the holidays, ultimately, I need to make the most of that and be aware of that in terms of finances. So I'm still working to that structure of, well, when that's happening, it is the better time to go on holiday so that I'm not ridding myself of more opportunities to make money. But again, if I'm shifting and different income streams are building up, which is the whole idea, maybe I won't need to worry so much about that. Who knows? But it's, gonna, it's interesting that I can't live too far ahead because I have to be aware of how much money is coming in and what I want to do each day. I didn't have to say yes to tomorrow, but at the same time, I also I'm like, OK, well, I haven't made loads this week. There's no influx of tutoring coming in. So I need to realistically, I, I do need to take that. And that's what's on offer at the moment, because only one school is up and running. So I've not got the multiple offers and knowing what's coming up. And I love it. I thought I was I don't think I thought I was going to hate it. But when the reality struck me and the thought of that, and you always have money coming in, a regular known amount on a day that I then just divvied up into bank accounts. I was like, OK, and that's going to go in savings and that's going to pay for that and that's going to pay for that. It fascinates me how much more to some degree present I am because my day, I don't know what it's going to look like anymore. I used to turn up to work and kind of know what the deal was. And that was half the point of this move was to not know what was going to happen in some magical way. And it comes with a little bit more risk, of course. It comes with a little bit of, oh my God, I don't have that money coming <laughs> regularly all the time. I trust myself to earn it because I have done various jobs in my life. If you heard last week's vlog, then you'd have heard a couple of the different places I worked, so obviously school, I think I mentioned theatre, yeah I did, and Royal Mail. I trust myself that if I need to, that I'll go and find a job don't get me wrong, I know the market's not easy right now. And my big backup, because if you do a move like this, you've got to have a big backup of, oh my God, the red button's been hit. We need to we need to get back to things. We need to get it sorted. You have to have a big backup. And then, I mean, realistically, you want a big backup in case that one goes wrong too. But teaching, teaching will always have jobs. Teaching for maths teachers, secondary maths teachers will always have jobs. That is my big backup. I wouldn't, I don't really want to. I don't really want to go back into full-time teaching. And even then, maybe I would negotiate part-time so that I could guarantee myself two or three days worth of income. Or if, if I need to, because things are bad, I need to go four days. You know, I don't know. And that is the beauty of it. And some people would hate this. I'd have probably hated it five years ago because I wanted to have the money guaranteed created some level of freedom so it was the compromise of okay yes my Monday to Friday is restricted but this money does mean that I can do all these things and for some time I did enjoy that and got myself into the position of where I am now with that I couldn't have done that without that but now for me that compromise went too far and I wanted to try something different and it has to some degree wholly changed 
the way I enjoy life at the moment. And I might change back. I think it's really naive of us to think that whatever move you make will never ever change. I think it's because we think we want to be done. We're there, we've made it, we know what works for us. Ultimately, if I at some point did want a family, this might not be the way I want to do it. It might not settle me to think I've got to always think about where the money's coming from. And in this scenario, it is just me. If if things go that badly, the heating is going off and I'll put 6,000 blankets on. But when you've got you know, dependents, that's slightly different. And, you know, I might therefore go, realistically, I need an, a stable income to help support this scenario, for example. And you, you might just change your mind, not even because of that, you just go, oh, I, I don't want to have to worry about where money's coming from, you know, or think about it. I don't worry about it now. There might be a time where I do. I might not like the idea that I don't get sick pay and holiday pay or money coming in to cover that. There is always going to be pros and cons to this. But for now, it's something that makes me feel more present. It's bringing me to enjoying the choice, the autonomy I get, which is one of my values, which I mentioned before. So that thing of its connection. And I had that first experience with loneliness this week which I don't want to make this video too long. These are not meant to be extensive. I think I'll delve into it next week, maybe, if nothing else has come up. I spend a lot of time alone and quite often don't feel lonely. Oh, but I did have that feeling. And so that's what I'll tease you with for next week. That is what I'll go into. I'll go into the idea of loneliness being single, living alone, and how that differs from that sense of loneliness that you can feel. And then I'll talk about my experience of it what I did and any other things that I've come across because when I read things loneliness is one of those things that really is important to me because we're prone to that whether we're single or not doesn't matter who you are what situation you're in you can have hundreds of friends around you but you can still feel lonely so I will go into that for next week having shared with you how this way of life is currently affecting me and the way that I live and am intentional and present in what I'm doing. So you can catch it next time to talk about being alone, being single and loneliness.